We don't have many competitors <coughs> because to do, cloud, to do security in the cloud, you have to have a totally different architecture and design. Right. The old school security is like building power generators for your home. We are like building a power plant with different design, different architecture, different, different scale. So we spent a number of years to build it from the scratch without having to worry about the legacy boxes. I'm sure competition will come. Competition is building point products in the cloud. We built a platform by combining firewalls, proxies, different kind of security technologies that can correlate information to do the to give you best results. That's Jay, really what's setting us apart. How, how big can this be? So you do some of the security for NATO from the cloud. Mm -hmm. Is this something that, for example, I as an individual will be marketed and will it be sold to myself? So we can go to consumers as well. Yeah. We started with the enterprises because they're very security conscious. So fundamentally what we have done is, rather than you having to build a security perimeter or security moat around every office, and in today's world, it makes no sense. Zscaler built a fence around the internet in 100 data centers around the globe. So no matter where you are, what device you're coming from, your internet traffic gets directed through our security check post. We are inspecting traffic to make sure nothing bad comes in and nothing leaks out. So it's a different paradigm. That's why the old companies are still trying to do the old way, because that's where they're used to. And that's the problem. That's why companies are getting hacked, <clears throat> because bad guys are moving faster and companies are moving slower. And actually, we've also heard and we've quizzed a lot of CEOs asking them why they don't have any security experts, internet cybersecurity <laughs> experts on their boards. And I think this is something that in the next couple of years, they'll probably look, look into more and more. It's Talk changing. to me about you, mm -hmm. IPO. Yes. I mean, you're in the hot topic of the moment. Why not IPO straight away? So I think we are running the business almost like a public company. <clears throat> so I built a world-class team. I hired a, a CFO, Sydney, who comes from Tipco, a private company. Mm -hmm. We hired uh, a global VP of sales in the past six months, who comes from HP, having run multi-billion dollar business. Mm -hmm. So all the pieces are being lined in place and running the business like a private company so we can go public when we feel like it's the right thing to do. And, and what does it mean? F you know, the right thing to do, is it <coughs> going to be based what, on valuation? First of all, where do you want to IPO? Have you, do, have you even decided whether it's here in London, whether it's in the US? We haven't yet. Okay. So I, I personally believe that if you build great products, if you get great customers, and you keep them happy, you solve the problems, IPO becomes an important step in the journey. So. You know, Jay, we speak to founders, a lot of founders and entrepreneurs, yes. and then there's going to be a, at some point, and you may already have been starting these discussions, is do I get bought out, if your company's successful, yep. do I get bought out by a larger company, or do I IPO? So that, that decision was made a long time ago. You're not selling. So I have done four startups in the past that got sold. Most companies get acquired by large companies. Having done it several times, this time a dream from day one was to create a company that becomes the sales force of cloud security. Mm -hmm. So what Salesforce did to Siebel, what Workday is doing to PeopleSoft, we're doing the same thing to a bunch of security point products. Mm -hmm. So when I invested significant money, the goal was I want to do it right. I was at a stage of my life where I would invest whatever it takes to build the right platform. So this company is designed, this company was created from day one right. to be the lasting public company. How much money did you need to create this and, and who's backing you at the moment? You need so, to scale, right, to make sure that there's no competitors straight away. Right. So, you know, I'm lucky. I did a few startups. My first startup, I could, I could not raise VC funds. So I put my life saving on the line. That gave me plenty of liquidity. <laughs> so I have invested in whatever money is needed. I'm personally committed to invest. All right, and do you have external backers as well, or do you not want them we, because they meddle? We took one small round from VC funding, okay. but we're open to it. We may look at a pre-IPO round just to round out our investors. Uh, but that, if that, when that happens, that that's, will happen. It's not okay. the highest priority or worry for us because the company is running cash flow positive. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of do we put more fuel on the fire to further growth it faster.